A, a person wants to roll back into your life. They want to ease back into your life. But from the moment of the phone call, you already know they won't be rolling into anywhere. They won't be easing into anywhere. What they do is they talk about they want to come back, but they don't want to address the issue that separated you in the first place. Every time you try to talk about things to get them to own up and confess so you both can understand where you went wrong, not to punish anybody, but just to get the logistics of how the foundation fell apart and blew away in the first place. What they want to do is they want to talk about their providing skills. They want to talk about their hunting strategy. They want to talk about how much money they gave you. Weren't you able to do what you wanted to do? Didn't they keep you in Louie? Didn't they keep you in Fendi? Didn't they keep you in Chanel? But the whole case is, it's not about the money. It's not about what you gave. It's what you done. And the things that you gave and you provided me with, I had to pay for those things. And I'm not willing to pay for those things again. You don't want that type of headache, even though you, you were able to move around. Even though you did feel a dent in your purse or your pocketbook or your wallet after they left. You understand that all money is not good money. You're not being paid for someone to have a good time. You're being paid to be treated right. And you're being paid because they're supposed to be paying you. That's why you're being paid. Within five minutes, the conversation is going to get heated. Not on your behalf because you ain't even going to be able to get a word out. When you tell them just to admit that they screwed up, they have asthma attack over the phone, oh, their bronchitis start kicking in, they start grabbing their heart, their nose start wheezing, static starts coming through the phone, and they hang up. One thing they'll never do is admit that they were wrong. Mwah.